for me, humanitarianism is doing as much possible for those in need and being the change that you want to see in the world. My name is Liliana Lebecki. My passion is working to make the world a better place. In the last few years, my dad and I have started traveling to do humanitarian work. We've done projects in Tanzania and Nepal. We installed solar power, lights, and donated computers. Seeing the joy on those kids' faces and the lives we had touched really sparked a passion in me. I wanted to see that kind of joy on more faces. I'm lucky enough to have the opportunities to do more humanitarian work. Peru is such a diverse country with a rich history and amazing landscape. We're here on a humanitarian and mountaineering expedition. Our goals are to set up a computer lab in the town of Pashpa and to climb two peaks in the Cordillera Blanca. Ashinga Peak, which is 18,143 feet, and Takarahu, which would take us up to 19,800 feet. During the trekking season, the town of Pashpa sees about 1,000 tourists. That's why it's so important to help out the local people that see all this tourism traffic. And it's really important that when we use their roads, their community to come through, and enjoy the amazing nature that they sit right next to, that they also benefit. Actualmente tenemos en esta institución educativa Sido Alegría Bazán de Pashpa, tenemos 172 estudiantes, entre nivel inicial, nivel primario y el nivel secundario. People that are going to benefit the most from this project are the kids, because the electricity here is really sparse. The lighting that's provided in this computer lab is pretty amazing. They can come in any time, even during winter months, and have power. These kids now have a resource to go to to actually get more education. Va ayudar porque ellos a través de la aplicación del programa ellos van a conectarse al mundo de la tecnología. De todas maneras, ¿no? efectivamente, porque los estudiantes ya van a tener conocimiento de la tecnología para que puedan este, seguir sus estudios o conseguir un trabajo tecnológico. ¿no? Para nosotros va a ser útil para seguir la profesión o para estudiar la computación de profesores. Yo pienso ser profesor de computadora y por otra parte también quiero ser contador. We're also donating socks and shoes to the entire village. It all takes hard work and you have to put all of your effort into it to make sure that the quality is good. Right now we are teaching the teachers and the students how to work on the computers. This is going to help educate them and help in a classroom. A lot of these children have never seen a computer before. This will give them an opportunity to connect and to learn about the world around them. Que me van a servir mucho para el futuro y para seguir estudiando. The big part for us at Goal Zero and Worldwide Trekking is not to just come in and set up something and leave it and hope everything gets taken care of, but go back and make sure that everything's being maintained. If they have questions, we want to make it sustainable so it's, it's something that lasts for their future. We finished up our humanitarian project. We headed up the mountains to Ashinka Base Camp. We had this giant rainstorm. When I first saw Ashinka, it hit me that we still had a big climb ahead of us. We're about to go up Mount Ishinka, and it's just over 18,000 feet, and this is just our warm-up climb to go climb Taklarahu. This is what I live for, is getting up early, all stars, big moon. Uh, it's pretty exciting for me because it's nothing I've ever done. I've never put crampons on. I've never had an ice axe in my hand. i got my brother here. It's his first time up a big mountain. The biggest challenge I have is my fear of heights. I never expected to do anything like this. This is the best thing I've ever done before in my life. I got the whole family here. Feeling pretty stoked. I'm happy to be here with my favorite people. Super excited to get on the top of the mountain. We started doing a long trek up the glacier on the ice. It was super steep and it was ongoing without stopping. Just gotta tell myself, just gotta keep going. Just like almost there.
When I took the last few steps onto the summit, a sense of accomplishment washed over me. We'd made it to the top. Get over here, daughter. Congratulations, my friend. It's just kind of like that amazing feeling of accomplishment. Yes, we made it. We are at the summit of Ashinka Mountain, and uh, the altitude is hitting me, but I feel really excited, really happy that we're here. As I lay in my tent in base camp that night, I wondered if we had done everything we could for the school in Pashba. Was our project really completed? When we started the humanitarian work last week, we weren't able to finish everything because it was a Friday on our last day, all the teachers and students were off for the weekend. And we really need to make sure all the computers, all the solar panels, the roof is waterproof, the paint is done really well. We're here to not only do an incredible project and enhance the quality of the lives of the local people, but we're here to do it in the best possible way. We decided to sacrifice our climb up to Takarahu and use that time instead and make sure that we did everything that we can do. It would have been a great accomplishment to climb Takarahu, but doing as much as you can for other people and putting their needs in front of yours is always more rewarding. The computer lab will give the kids opportunities to better their education, which means they can create the lives that they want to have. The reason why I do these humanitarian expeditions is to bring joy to others. That's why I'm calling what we're doing here Joyneering. In a world where you can be and do anything, be kind and do good.